Indeed, hey, back with another one. How we doing, guys? Hope you're all keeping well. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about survival mode. Now, if you're lucky, you may only face being in survival mode maybe a few times in your life. And currently, I'm uh, experiencing it. So, what is survival mode? So, as you know, I don't want to keep banging on about it, but my dad passed away. And it's been emotionally draining, obviously, seeing him deteriorate over the last few months. Um, that was hard. And obviously, going to work, going to see him in the hospital, then coming home and just not a good time. So, as you can imagine, when he did finally pass... My head roll off at shop and I was just knackered. So been dragging my feet and just plodding on. So obviously not feeling at my best. Uh, mental health not great. So how do you how do you get on about that? So the way I see it, you can do one or two things. You aren't gonna be operating at your best. That goes without saying. So either you can beat yourself up about it or not. And me personally, I think it'd be wise not to beat yourself up over it. Now I could. So I've not been as productive at work. I just need a minute every now and then just to just sit there and just distract myself on social media or just watch a two minute video or anything just to Cause I work on my own, you see. So I work and live on my own. Sometimes I need to give my brain a break, just escape from this. So I'll just distract myself, and you know, on on the odd night night times, I might get a little bit intoxicated. That's <laughs> I will say as well, wherever your vices are. Make sure you've got control of it and it's not controlling you because it's very easy. It's a slippery slope, whatever it is, whether it's alcohol, weed, any kind of drugs or anything that's not good for you, really, that you're using just to cope. Be sure that you are in control and that's not in control because suddenly you could end up being addicted to whatever it is you're using to cope and then that's the last thing you want for yourself because now you're creating another problem a big problem and we will tackle this one soon as well so there you go which I shouldn't and I know I shouldn't however it's just a couple hours on a night time where I can just forget about what I'm, what I'm dealing with I know it's not good for me, but I'm in survival mode, so I know it'll pass. I know not to get carried away with getting intoxicated or not being as productive at work. But I know I'm, I'm riding it out. I'm just going to ride it out. And then I can already feel I am getting better. So more productive than I was last week. But then it's going to come in waves anyway. I mean, funerals... Not tomorrow, but day after. So um, we'll see. How, I don't know how I'm going to feel on the day. Not a clue. So we'll see. But yeah, so I could beat myself up over it and think, oh, I shouldn't be doing that. I should be doing this. And I should be going to the gym. I should be doing all this, that, and the other. All I can say to you is if you're in survival mode and you're beating yourself up saying, I should do this, I should do that, I should do this. You're going to make yourself feel worse, aren't you? It's true. You're going to make yourself feel worse. And I've done it myself. And I'm, you know, I try not to and think, well, here's what it is. I could be doing this. But the thing is, where my head is at, they're not going to be very good. I'm, you know, that's the brutal truth. It's not going to be very good. Same with the gym. I've not. I've been emotionally drained, absolutely drained. So, 
which takes it out on your body as well. I've been aching all over and just feeling pff, like dog shit. So if I can go to the gym, it's not very good. Not very good at all. It almost not even worth turning up for. Now, I will say though, exercise, best antidepressant on the planet. And it is good for you. But I'm getting exercise at work as well. So I would say, if you've not got an active job, definitely get some exercise. That is, I'll do you a world of good. But I get that at work. I'm shoveling and digging all day and things like that. So I'm getting plenty of exercise. Whereas I think before, before survival mode that I'm in now, I push myself to extreme levels. So, you know, grafting all day at work, digging, shoveling and laying slabs and all this, that and the other. Coming home, shower, getting changed and then going out to the gym. Ordinarily, you know, it's not easy. It never was. But ordinarily, I can do that, that's fine. And then come home and do a video or do some editing. My current state, I can't do that. Not a chance. <laughs> not a chance. I am not Superman. Far from it. So, I'm just doing what I can. And that's all you can if you're in that situation where you are in survival mode where something big's happened in your life that's give you a good knock. You're going to get them. It's inevitable. It's part of life. Um, embrace it. Roll with it and just ride it out. Because good days will come again. Bad, ta bad times aren't forever. They're not. And I know that with my situation. What's he going to do? Die again? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's, his daddy's gone. Um... And I feel all right. Like I said, I, I am all right. I'm just knackered. Absolutely. You know, it's been a long journey to get to where we were and to where he ended up. Uh, so he took it out of me. So now it's just rebuild. So I've just wiped me out completely. I had nothing left. Now I'm slowly rebuilding. So now I'm doing the odd video again. Not as frequent as before. I have got my arse to the gym again. I went to the weekend before I picked up the kids. And I will go again tomorrow as well. So I'm slowly building things back up. And cutting out the bad habits that I've been using to cope. Cut them out. And instead adopting them good habits again. You know, try meditating again. Things like that. And eating right. Not comfort eating. <laughs> I'm a sod for that one. We all have our vices. Again, don't beat yourself up. So just understand that you're going through hard times. If you're yourself going through hard times, they won't last forever. Hard times, they will come to an end. They always do. Worst thing you can do as well is thinking... Fuck it out. Will this never end? Yes, it will end. Keep going. Keep plodding on. And good, t good times will come again. So, and in the meantime, just do what you can. And I'm not saying don't do anything. Because that's not good for you either. Just do what you can. And don't beat yourself up over what you can't do. Yeah. Just take each day as it comes. So each day it's another battle. Yeah. It's another another day. It's just right. I'm going to do as much as I can today. I'm not worried about tomorrow. I'm not worrying about what happened yesterday. Today's a new day. I'm just going to do what I can today. And just, just get through the day. Survival mode. That's what is survival mode, guys. It's just get through the day. And that in itself is a win when you when shit's bad. It's not about oh well I didn't do that, that, this, that and the other and or oh, I let myself down with that or oh, I ended up doing that which was not good for me. Survival mode, you're surviving. 
just get through the day. That's your goal, every day, get through the day. So I've had that, and I'm coming out the other side now, where it's getting a little easier, where I can do a video. I can go to the gym again. I'm not where I was, but I'm getting there, okay? So, this is what I mean by survival mode, guys. It's just trying to get through the day. So, by any means, get yourself through the day. Provided whatever naughty things you're doing to get through the day, whatever's bad for you, ain't too bad, it ain't gonna, ain't gonna fuck you up, okay? I mean that, so... I mean, if, if your go-to is very, very, very unhealthy things that aren't good for you, surround yourself with good people, see your friends, your family, just have a chat, a cup of tea, anything. I mean, I mean, I ain't got that luxury. I live on my own and I work on my own, as I said. And I do isolate myself when I'm there, uh, when I'm not doing so great. If someone has any advice on that, Feel free. <laughs> Let me know. Could I would love to hear about that one. Uh, why I isolate myself. That'd be great. So, yeah, get yourself around people. Just talk and anything. Just take your mind off it. Stick a film on or anything. Yeah, just just get through the day. And gradually, is every day, and every day you get through is a win. It's a win. And every day it's just going to get that little bit easier. And then slowly you can start building yourself back up. And you can. I believe in you. Old King D believes in you. You got this. We're all going to find ourselves in this situation. We are. I dare say there'll be several more times I go through big things in my life uh, before I kick the bucket myself part of life and it's beautiful as well and uh, I want I thought about this you know a lot of people saying oh you're all right and this that and the other and I thought I am I am all right and the times I've been very very sad I I find beauty in that I find beauty in the sadness because any tears or pain in my heart or anything like that is a reflection on what my dad meant to me and yeah, I felt it big time because he was such a big part of my life. Uh, he was my hero. And so wh why should you feel sorry for me? Why should I feel sorry for myself for feeling that sadness? Don't feel sorry for myself at all. I consider myself very, very lucky. So whatever, you know, there's, there's always the other side of things, isn't there? So as amazing as something can be, nothing lasts forever. Again, I've already said that. Well, not all the good things last forever either. It's a case of just appreciating them for what they were. And I'm totally going off subject here. This is probably a, another video in itself. But getting back to survival mode. So yeah, I'm not performing at my best. And chances are, if you're in survival mode, you ain't performing at your best either. And don't beat yourself up over that either. That's the main takeaway, really, I can give you, is do not beat yourself up. Just do what you can. That's it. So, not done too bad for time on this one. Getting a bit better. We'll leave it there. So... Like the video, drop us a comment, why not? Tell your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and be the best you, and do it for you. Cheers. Mm -hmm.